Good morning, Rock Church, my brothers and sisters on Facebook and YouTube, Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. Hey, man, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to bless God for each and every one of you all. You know why? Because you're blessed. You're blessed, and I know you know you're blessed. Now, can't nobody tell you you're not blessed. Come on, let's pray you with your blessed self. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you for another day, a day that we have never seen before. This day, June the 29th, the year 2022. God, I pray, God, that our hearts will continue to rejoice that you are walking with us. You are speaking to us. You are leading us. You are guiding us. God, I pray that we are filled with your inspired word to continue to live life, the life that you have given us. Not only that we are to live it, but we are to share the gospel as we live this life. God, continue to pour into us. Help us to, to live this day, this day, God, full of your spirit. And that if we will find delight, oh God, to be able to share your word, regardless of whatever our struggles may be. We are ready to, for you to speak to us through the realm of word found in Matthew chapter 5 this day. In Jesus' name, let God's people say amen. All right, y'all, listen. Listen, we're wrapping up our study series today of I'm Blessed. And so I want you to uh, write down Matthew chapter 5, okay? So for, man, for this last almost week and a half, almost two weeks, we've been in Matthew chapter 5, the greatest sermon that was ever preached by far by Jesus Christ, the Beatitudes. And so I want to, I'm going to remind us and reread uh, all the verses that we have covered. And then our last verse for today is found in verse 12 of chapter 5 of Matthew, okay? So, um, you know, the Bible says, here's, here's what Jesus was saying here. He says, now Jesus saw the crowds when he went up on the mountain and he sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. That's all, that's all preaching is, is teaching, right? He was teaching them. What did he say? Blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who persecute you because of righteousness, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. And today's remember word for this wondrous Wednesday is found in verse 12. Rejoice and be glad. Because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who was going before you. Brothers and sisters, this is what we've been studying in this series of I Am Blessed. So the question I want to ask you this wondrous Wednesday, watch this. Is it hard for you to rejoice when you are faced with life challenges because of your, your commitment to following Jesus? This is hard for you. In other words, hey man, you insulted, you persecuted, you falsely accused, you're going through death. There's some people that mourn, right? You you you're separated from from some things of the world that you didn't want to separate from, right? Is it hard for you to rejoice knowing that hey, trials gonna come, and either you in a storm or on your way out of storm or on your way to a storm. Are it easy? Is it hard for you to rejoice knowing that all your ends, hey man, not not uh, that relates to your resources may not be there right now? Is it hard for you to rejoice? Is it hard for you to rejoice not compromising, right? Not compromising because your faith, 
because who you are in Christ. It's hard for you to rejoice seeing other people who appear to be happy, right? Because what they appear on the outside, but the inside, they could be hurting, right? Is it hard for you to rejoice the very fact that you are a Christian and you are mandated by God to walk in righteousness? Look, brothers and sisters, following Christ, you may not be happy all the time. You may not feel the joy of the Lord all the time. You may not be, hey, feel like you, you are at peace on the, on the outside, okay? Hey, brothers and sisters, listen. That's because the enemy wants you to live life based on what you can see, not based on what you know, okay? And so, so it's easy to see things out that are appealing to us, right? And, and, and because we have not attained it or, you know, it looks good on somebody else or what they're doing, it makes us feel some kind of way. Man, if I wasn't no Christian, I can turn up. If I wasn't no Christian, I can do that. Look, brothers and sisters, you are blessed, okay? Jesus preached this sermon. He sat down, talked to his disciples, and we see for ourselves, we are blessed. Here's the reason why. Because what Jesus did on the cross for us, okay, he did this on the cross for us, and we're not alone. Do you know that prophets and other men of God and women of God gone before us and that was persecuted, okay, they were going through some things. You are not alone. Jesus said, how should we respond? He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Find your happiness. Find your joy. Hey, be glad that the fact that you are in Christ, regardless of what you experience outside. Here's the reason why. Because your reward is in heaven. Come on, somebody. Jesus here explaining the whole concept, although life going to be hard. He told his disciples, you're going to go through some stuff. You're going to have hard treatment. And those who, hey man, won't receive you, but you will receive something greater than what the earth provides. You're going to receive what's in heaven, and we can look forward to the day that we, Jesus is going to say, well done, good and faithful servant, so that we ought to take the opportunity to rejoice, even if we treat it awful. Even if we feel good, you know, your past, your relationships and your experiences and you know it ain't of Christ but you it make you feel some kind of way but you have overcome it brothers and sisters I know what it's like to get high I know it's like to smoke weed I know it's like to smoke cocaine I know it's like to be in a club celebrating turning it up y'all don't realize I'm an old school house head come on somebody I still like house music I may not go to a house party but I got I can start a house party in my house come on now Hey, listen, I know what it's like to, to be a part of something that, man, appears that everybody having fun. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, it's something about knowing that we are blessed and our greatest reward is in heaven. Now, now, look, Jesus was telling his disciples something that was going to take place. And he was ministering them and letting them know you're going to get persecuted. You're going to be insulted. You're going to go through all kinds of stuff. You're going to lose people. You're going to have to mourn. But I am telling you, you are blessed in every season you're in because I'm with you, right? He's prepared the people. Now, this is the first time that we see in the Beatitudes that Jesus said, hey, our destination is heaven. That's right. Not just the kingdom of God. Hey, it's heaven. We are going to heaven. He wants the Christians to know. He wants the disciples to know. You are going to heaven. Go through whatever trials you're going to go through. Now, I want to I want to invite you to be reminded of your next trial, right? And based on James, he says, consider the pure joy when you face these trials because you're going to go through something. But there's a, there's a, there's a response that we as Christians are being encouraged to do. Is rejoice. Come on now. So I want to ask you, are you ready to release your faith on this wondrous Wednesday, knowing that blessed people are expected to rejoice no matter what the situation is? Come on, somebody. Well, look, if that's the case, we're going to have to keep it simple, saints. Here's how we're going to do it. By embracing the fact that our reward 
are waiting in heaven because we are blessed. Yeah, it's waiting in heaven. So here's what we got to do. Okay, all right. Here's what you're going to have to write down in the text. Here, see, listen, say, I decree and declare. Come on now, write this in the text. I decree and declare that I'm going to live my life, what? In happiness, in joy. Come on, somebody. I'm going to live my life being cheerful, even though I'm going through I'm going to live my life in happiness. I'm going to live my life in joy. Hey, man, God has promised me something. He says rejoice. Brothers and sisters, it is an honor to be counted worthy for any suffering, any persecution, any trials, because we're Christians. Don't you get it twisted. I can't get it twisted. Because there was persecution even for the prophets who gone before us, but they still stay steady on the wall doing what the Lord had called them to do. That's why we are blessed. Walk in the promises of God. And blessed people, I found out this to be true, were blessed people. Brothers and sisters, use your blessings to be a blessing. Don't you hold back. Don't you have your head down. Trials going to come. Lift your head up and find the place of rejoicing in the Lord, especially because you are blessed by God. Heavenly Father, we bless you on this wondrous Wednesday. We thank you for this study series. We thank you, God, for hearing Jesus preach the greatest sermon ever preached. And he, he ended his sermon helping the disciples to understand where, where their destination lies not in their trials on earth, but in the triumph or in heaven. God, I pray that we celebrate, that we see this for ourselves, this wonderful promise for all God's people, that we have the opportunity, been given rights to the kingdom here on earth. And God, we've been given a destination for our spiritual life in heaven for the rest of our life with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the great I am. So Father, I ask that you uh, keep us and allow us to retain all that we have learned. And we go back and listen again. And God, as we find encouragement, God, we won't look at our situation and our, our trials and our, all the issues of life as, as something that we can't overcome because we can if we decide to rejoice. We won't walk around in despair. We won't walk around depressed. We won't walk around feeling hopeless because we're rejoicing. That doesn't mean the trials don't hurt. That doesn't mean the trials are not trying. But the only thing, it gives us a platform to be the rejoicers of those who are called by God, that we may rejoice because the kingdom of heaven is waiting for us. May you be glorified on this wondrous Wednesday, my God, in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed with a series of I am blessed. Come on, somebody. But guess what? Four days ago, God gave me another series that we're going to work on. Oh, it's going to bless you. Because a series like this, that I'm blessed, you want to continue to respond. I'm going to teach you, based on the word of God, that not only blessed people blesses people, blessed people also blesses God. We're going to bless God. I'm going to show you how we're going to bless God. And we're going to be reminded why we should continue to bless God. Okay? Y'all don't want to miss this series, man. It's going to kick off tomorrow. Remember this. Bless people, bless people. Come on, somebody. So you are blessed. Now it's time for us to bless others. Brothers and sisters, I want y'all to meet me out on the corner today on Madison and Central. We're going to be out there at 530, setting up 6, 8, 6 p.m. That's when we're going to kick off. You don't want to miss it. We're going to bless people, man, today with man, food. We're going to bless people, God, with, with conversation. We're going to bless people with jobs, housing. And we're going to bless him with the word of God. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. Listen, you're blessed. I am blessed. So let's be a blessing. I love you. May God's blessings be upon you every single day, no matter what. Rejoice. Come on. Rejoice in the Lord. And I say it again. Rejoice. Take care of yourself.